Hey everyone, it's Brian Begley from NCloud9, your trusted Dynamics 365 partner. Today, I am going to show you five things you probably didn't know you could do with the activity timeline in Dynamics 365. If you think it's just a place to log your notes or see your emails, think again. So the first thing we want to talk about is, is using filtering in your activity timeline. So I'm in my contact record here for Alex Ferdinand, and I have a lot of records. He's been a client of mine for a long time. I probably have dozens and dozens of emails and phone calls and tasks. The first thing we're going to start with is filtering. So you can filter these records so that you're only seeing certain types of record at any given time. So we're going to look here on our timeline. We have our little funnel here. And when we open up the funnel, we can choose what records to see. So we're looking here. There's six notes. There's a number of posts and there's 38 activities. So let's say I would like to just see the notes that I've recorded and maybe other people have recorded. I check on the notes. Once I click on the filter, it's going to show me those six notes. And from here, I could take a look at it and I say, oh, here's the note. Let's open it up, review it, make my changes, save it and close it. In the same way, I can filter activities. So let's say I want to just show my emails, my phone calls, but I could also do things by filtering them on items like the activity status. So let's just look at my overdue activities. It shows here, I have two phone calls that are scheduled for back in 2020 that I haven't completed. So at this point, maybe I'm just going to mark those as complete and we're going to mark this as canceled since we did not actually make that phone call and now we are left with one more phone call let's get rid of that as well click on that mark it as canceled and now that phone call it's showing that i have no overdue activities so real quickly using filtering i'm able to clean up my timeline also in the filtering area of my timeline there is a search button and in the search button i'm going to close this timeline filtering button up and the search and if i want to search for a particular word Word that might be in an email that I sent to him. I'm going to search on the word register and here we go. I sent an email to Alex a couple weeks ago. Thanks for registering with us. From here I can open up that email and I can uh, review it, maybe respond to it. Number two on our list of five things that you should be doing with your activity timeline is pinning activities. So let's say you have a phone call or an email that you really need to keep top of mind and you don't want to get buried in a list of many other emails, phone calls that that are all passing through your timeline. Well, if your system admin has enabled this, one of the options you have is to pin your records to the timeline. So it's as simple as clicking on this little thumbnail. There we go. I pinned one record. You can pin multiple records. You can pin notes. So let's pretend that this note is a very important note here. And now I have two pinned records. They are gonna stay at the top, whereas all of the other activities are in a separate section called recent. As always, I can unpin a record at any time and it's going to move and the timeline's going to refresh and I'm left with just one pinned item. So pinning is really great when you have important activities or notes or posts and you want to keep them in focus and top of mind. Number three is to expand and engage with your activities directly from the timeline. So I have an email that I sent out to Alex and I'm going to open this up and from here I can just click on the email. I'm going to see pretty much the entire body of the email with all the information that I have tracked in that email and I can do certain activities with it. So we've already seen one activity, I can pin it, but there's a couple other activities I can do. If this is really not an email activity I want to track in Dynamics 365, I can delete it and then I can also click on this icon here and it allows me to open this record, in this case, an email, and do anything I usually would do with an email, maybe send it off to someone else, okay? Now, other types of records have different engagement options. So for example, th there's a phone call record here that's currently active, and I can engage with this phone call by clicking on it to read more details about my notes for this call, but I have the options to assign to another user, to mark the activity completed, to add this to a queue if I'm using cues, open it, or once again, pin. So don't forget to use these engagement buttons and the ability to expand the record without opening it so you can quickly interact with your activities. Now, number four on our list of things you can do with a timeline is the ability to create activities instantly from here. So from the contact record, I can instantly create a new phone call or email or appointment or task directly from the timeline. 
timeline. So let's say I want to schedule a phone call with Alex in a few days. I open up his timeline. I click on the plus button. I click on the phone call. I set a due date. Always important to set your due dates. I'm going to set it for Monday at noon and I give it a topic in my subject line and I'm going to say call regarding proposal. Might put some notes in there and I'm gonna click save and close. So I just created an activity super easy right in the timeline. Uh, I can do things, I can pin that up top since I know that's an upcoming activity, call regarding proposal. I'm gonna get a notification of course because we built notifications in our system when that time comes up for that phone call. Now one last thing I wanna show you that you as a user could do with your timeline that I find really useful is to use Copilot for its highlighting feature. So if I click on this highlights button here and I click down to drop, Copilot is going to walk through all my activities and summarize all of my recent interactions. And so, for example, it's going to show me that we have a phone call regarding a proposal. We have an email that was sent regarding some registration details. And then another phone call was made expressing interest in the dehumidifier system. So it's suggesting that there's potential sales opportunities. What I really like about this is these highlights are generated not just on your activities, but they're gonna be generated on the activities of other people from within your company. So this is a quick way to catch up on all the recent interactions with your contacts, with your accounts, with your opportunities, all from one place without having to spend a lot of time looking for them. If you're not necessarily happy with them because it's AI generated, you can click on the refresh button. It's gonna go through and do another uh, search for those records. So these simple tricks can seriously upgrade how your team works with Dynamics 365. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more quick CRM tips. And of course, if you have any questions or you want us to help tailor your activity timeline for your business needs, just leave a comment or reach out to us at NCloud9. We're always here to help. Thank you and have a great day.